Hey guys, it's Chris, the Throwback Drummer, and I'm really excited to bring you this video. It's another unboxing and demo video for you. Before I get into it, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, share it, and also uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So um, I'm looking at some more additions to the kit. Um, for some of you may know, I've been playing the TD25 KV for about five years now, and I still love it. This kit is a beast. I love everything about it, um, except over time I've gotten used to the size of the pads so I was looking at um, some additions as well as ways to upgrade them. Uh, my first unboxing video was for the Lemon 15 inch ride. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and check that out. But basically what that video was I was upgrading the ride symbol because the Roland 13 inch that comes with the kit um, it is a good symbol but it's a little small so I wanted to get a little bit something bigger something that um, I would have a little bit more area to work with while playing so I looked into the 15 inch um, symbols by Roland very expensive um, but then I looked at the lemon I found the lemons and I decided to take a chance with them because they were a third of the price and uh, so far I've been playing with on it for over a year and I love it it's still holding up very great I was looking for also another thing to upgrade which was the snare drum uh, it comes with the TD25 KV comes with the 10 inch which is the same size as the floor tom so I was looking for something a little bit bigger for the snare drum um, this is a very good pad don't get me wrong but I was just looking for something a little bit bigger to work with as well as for uh, cross stick um, yeah so I wanted to upgrade the snare here went to a 12 inch saw the prices of the Rollins pretty expensive um, then I saw that lemon made a 12 inch so I figured go on Amazon and got this sucker right here and I uh, figured I'd take a chance with it so really excited to demonstrate this to see what uh, see what we got here all right all right so right off the bat we've got an extra cable here always good to have an extra one of those now another cool thing is this does come with the rack mounting system right here this has a you know another attachment over here so uh, everything comes with this kit to just plug it in and get started um, so if I can just move this over here I'll already have everything set up here's the extra piece for here's the clamp the clamp system got to attach that to my system that I have here already with that Whoop. <laughs> all right and here's the drum wow so already it's a pretty big sucker here all right especially compared to the finish so right here take a look it's actually set up very similar to the um the 10 the 10 inch um roland here so you got Similar mesh head. Ooh, this is a tight tension. This is a pretty tight tension over here. Give a good feel for, um, pretty good feel for a snare drum. So, you got your mount system right here. Put it on the clamp right there, get it set up, and here's your input jack right on the side. So this is supposed to be a dual zone. You got the rim, it's very similar. One thing I did see on another video was that these um, lugs are actually, see if I can get in close there, these are Allen wrench. These aren't a regular lug for, that you would normally get, that you can use a drum tune key. So, a little strange, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, pretty hollow on the inside. I'm not gonna lie, that's a little concerning, so I'm hoping that this is gonna be pretty good. If you can kind of see in there, all right, yeah, you see how it's pretty hollow in there? There's not much going on in there, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll give it a try, see what we can do. So, I'm going to just skip ahead. I'm going to move this over to the side here. I'm going to put this sucker over here, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Actually, before I do that... So, basically, what just to kind of show you the difference in the size here, you got the 10-inch here. And then you got the 12 inch pretty decent size you know upgrade there so looks pretty good this is a lot lighter than the 10 inch too so bigger surface but lighter we'll see what see what happens with that but yeah i'm just going to skip ahead and uh, we'll see what happens <laughs>
So hey guys, back again. I adjusted the camera a little bit so you can see, but I got the lemon set up right over here, and I moved the 10 inch that was here for the original stair, and I moved it over here. Haven't assigned this one anything yet, but as soon as I can find the right sound from either the TD4, or if I can mix a couple of triggers around here. But um, so far, what I was doing was I was just connecting it, making sure that everything works, and uh, so far it sounds pretty close and it has a very good feel. So I'm going to connect it um, just to give you a little bit of a demonstration and uh, you let me know what you think. So before I give the demonstration, I just wanted to let you know that the settings that I'm using on the TD25KB module for this is the 40 snare. Um, and uh, right now I have it actually on the 40 snare cross stick. So there you have it, that's my quick demonstration of the Lemon 12 inch uh, snare drum. Overall, my first impressions, um, I think it's really good. I think that the feel of it is great, the um, dynamics, the response, everything is really good. Um, pretty solid piece. Um, like I said, it was lighter than the 10 inch, um, you know, which was a little bit of a concern, but doesn't feel like it's going to have any issues, it feels pretty solid. Um, I do need to mess with the sensitivity a little bit and a couple more settings on the module uh, before I move ahead with this. Um, there were a couple times that the side stick was, um, the cross stick was kind of acting a little funky, but overall, like I said, it's it's not bad, especially for the price. Um, like I said, this is you know a fraction of the price that the Roland is offering, and um, it's a pretty good, pretty good size, pretty good feel. I think it's worth it so um, I'll see how it goes for the next upcoming videos I have one more video that I'm going to release uh, the next one which is on my original setup uh, and then I'm going to be recording the next ones with this setup and hopefully uh, hopefully it goes well so uh, so yeah that's it let me know what you guys think uh, thank you for watching this uh, demonstration and unboxing um, any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments let me know if you if you like this please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, till the next video, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.